of Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 56, take two. I am Neil C. I am Annalise. We just did this a <laughs> second ago, and then the computer yelled at me and told me that my MIDI was arguing with my... Audio. Audio. It so wasn't I, syncing you know, up. I don't know yeah. what was freaking going on. So uh, hopefully this is recording. If not... Uh, we'll try it again tomorrow. Ass. <laughs> if you hear a bunch of squeaking in the background, it's because my dumb... dumb I, See, I did it right the first time. All right, go ahead. My dumb ass gave our dog a squeaky toy to keep him busy while we recorded, and it makes a lot of noise. He's but then been, you said he doesn't have it? He has been squeaking for the last 10 minutes, and then he went in the other oh, room, and he came back without out. it, and then he just fell asleep. That's so awesome. hopefully he yeah. will continue to sleep through this episode. We just got done recording with Dave the Nerd. We did. Had awesome. a good time. Had a good time. It's interesting, though, to like record... And then take like a 15 minute break and now record another podcast. How salty language does it? I have no clue. We'll have to ask him. Well, According to Tony, there's lots of uh, Baltica involved right now. <laughs> That's right. There's a lot of ball tickling involved. Speaking of salty language. Speaking of ball tickling. You want to talk about last night? No. Oh, right. um, speaking of salty language, I would like to say uh, for Tony's benefit, hey Siri, call Neil. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey Siri, call mom. Hey Siri, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's see if that works. I don't know anybody. if he's listening to his headphones or in the car, but uh, when they uh, anybody anybody oh, if whenever. anyone's in the car listening with their iPhone, <laughs> it, hopefully, Siri, hopefully you're calling mom right now. <laughs> like, what the hell's going on? That happens every time they say Siri a couple times, and my phone freaks out because I listen to them a lot um, when I'm commuting. But uh, anyway, it's kind of funny. Nice. So, salty language, ball tickling. <laughs> uh, we should thank Mike before I forget, because I Absolutely. will forget. So, <laughs> thank you, Mike. All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Now, we want to thank Mike uh, Polano of Pizza Beer Revolution, the Pizza Beer Revolution podcast, for uh, being on with us last week. We had a really good time. We did. It's really cool, like, when you, uh, and we do this, and it seems to be the norm, but you kind of hang out with you know, because we just have conversations with podcasters. And it's like you almost have known them for a while. And it's really comfortable and have a good time. And he's a great guy. And had a, had a, I had a lot of fun. From I what too, I remember. Great, right? uh, no. A lot of beer, too. So, <laughs> But thanks, Mike. Uh, and thank you to a lot of people uh, listen to the episode. Right. Uh, a lot of their um, fans listened and started liking us, which was really cool. That's really there cool, yeah. A lot of really cool feedback. So that was fun. Cross pollination on the pizza beer revolution tip. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, that's all I got to say. It was going to get dirty there for a second, and then you it stopped was. yourself. <laughs> I was trying to think of the, the stem thing inside a flower that you pollinate, and I could come up with this clitoris, and I knew that wasn't it. Right. It's, it's Do the, flowers have the, clitoris? The, the, um, sta- Clitori? The mm, stigma. The Stigmata? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I have to remember. Ball tickler. Did we thank Dave enough for having us on? Uh, thank you, Dave. Well, the weird thing is, this is actually going to come out before, before right? Yeah, so so uh, look forward to that. That y- you pod are looking forward to it. Or are you telling on Dave the Nerd part? podcast, yeah. Dave Nerd's Ooh. Compendium, if you will? Ooh. Yes, I know. Yeah, so thank you. And uh, he's already memed us, which is hilarious. He's really good at the memeing, and memeing. he's really fast at the memeing. Uh, he's a fast memer. He's a fast memer. Uh, uh, is that is that appropriate to share with I other people? <laughs> How's, how's, uh, how are you? I'm good. I am really tired today. I uh, was really hoping to uh, sleep in till I don't know, like 7, and I've been awake since like 4.30. Yeah, it happens. I just kind of laid there, and I think uh, it's that weird thing when you are awake and you're in bed, and you could be sleeping, but you're not, and then you almost start to get mad at yourself, and you're like, come on, go was, to sleep, come on. I was on. up in Adam today. <laughs> yeah, you um, were raring to go this morning. Busy I think you're outside I'm washing the cars at like 7.15 a.m. with your little it. weight vest on and your... Batman pajama pants. It's true. I was. I don't know Saying how much hi to the I can, neighbors. I can do that because of our drought, but right. I did. Right. I had to get it done. You did a very efficient wash, though, as well. I think I used four gallons of water for two cars. Right. That's pretty good. Um, I was going to jokingly ask you if I should just start taking a shower at work so we could water some of the plants. But It's not uh, a joke. You should. Yeah. Or don't shower. Um. Make yourself a ripe tomato at Do work. Do we have like a way to keep track of the gallons of water we use or how much they want us to use or don't want us to use? And if I, I take a shower a at work. a conversation we can have when we're not podcasting. Right. I'm just throwing out some ideas. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about water conservation. Okay. Some other time. Okay. 
But right now. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Are you ready? I, uh, yeah. You ready? Okay. The goddamn segment that won't die. I love it. You love it. Everybody loves it. Do it I to love it. My, I, do, do it. it. Ja. Do uh, it to it. I do, do it. Ja. <laughs> I do like uh, my weather station. You love that weather station. I do like my weather vane. I can hear you rattling. What are you drinking? <laughs> um, I am actually drinking something that you made for me. It's a monster and vodka. That's what you think it is. And um, it's a sugar-free, calorie-free monster and vodka. Monster absolute zero. Oh, no, but no, that's not true. It's the white one, the white can. I was just feeling a bit tired, so you were helping me out. Uh, so Napa Weather Report for all you fine people. Give a rat's butt. Uh, 78 degrees, 42% humidity outside. We had a peak wind today of 13 miles an hour. Average has been nine. It's been a little windy here. A little windy. Right now, it's uh, blowing out of the southwest seven miles an hour. Uh, indoors, 74 degrees and 47% humidity. And the barometric pressure is at 29.89. Woo. Woo. That's uh, the, the close. <laughs> I was closing it out for you. I was closing it out for you. <laughs> Uh, it's a really nice day, and it's going to be a really nice day tomorrow. And your parents are coming over tomorrow for a little, I don't know if it's luncheon or a little snacks. snacks. Yeah, the, it's post-lunch. Are they going to go buy that uh, winery thing first? Who knows? Who knows? But um, they're going to come over, and we're going to have snacks. And hopefully it'll be warm enough to sit out on said patio out there. Right. Let's talk about Rose City. <laughs> well, okay. You want to talk about the parents? Okay. No, because, you know, they're, I mean, really, what else do they have to do on a Sunday? Uh, not much because they're retired, but, yeah. um, it's, no, my I like mom having just snacks got back from so. Argentina. So, and you I look forward. Seen her. Yeah. I haven't seen her I since like she's snacks. been back. Is that what you said? I said, I really like snacks and I was going to oh. say that it's nice <laughs> having, go. um, an excuse to have snacks because people come over and your parents come over. I don't know if you need over. an excuse. I think you could snack whenever you mm, want. Well, I've been trying to be a little healthier in all of that. So your parents are coming over and it instantly was like snacks. <laughs> You're like, we can fry awesome. everything. They like fried food. <laughs> of course they do. Yeah, so mom was in Argentina. You haven't seen her since she got back. I haven't, so and so. She's for uh, almost a month. So. Yeah, looking forward to some stories. Is she going to bring any pictures or anything? I would hope so. Tell her to bring her iPad. I will and, tell uh, her right now. Hopefully she listens to this between now and the time she comes. Mom, bring your will, iPad. But I will uh, text her later and ask her to bring pictures and stuff. So that's that. So let's talk about Rose City Comic Con. Okay. We are going. Yes. As are a lot of people. Uh, apparently a lot of people. <laughs> However, um, I don't know if we should go. What? After we've been called uh, that slutty friend you have in college. I'm thinking <laughs> maybe, you know. Nickel has love hate for us. <laughs> I am thinking that there may be too much expectations because if they're I'm really not that slutty. So. <laughs> eh, eh, tomato, tomato. <laughs> right. Um, Friendly, slutty, I don't know. <laughs> right. Uh, so I don't, there may be a lot, there's a lot of people going. Yeah. It can be a sore weekend at the rate it's going if we're considered the sluts of the bunch. Wow. Sluts of the bunch. <laughs> yeah. We're the, we're the sluts of the bunch. I like to call it. That'll us be on a t-shirt. The binder? <laughs> no. The that's, binder? That's not right. Um, what is that? The glue? No. That's not right either. Hmm. No. No, we're not. Any Catalyst? No. No. Hmm. We are catalyst. Hmm. Um, it'll be fun. Um, it's going to be a lot of people, though. <laughs> it'll be so fun being the sluts of the bunch? Well, you know. Yeah. It is a long weekend. Do what you got to do. But um, it'll be a lot of people, and it'll be very interesting to see how that all works out and how that plays out, like being able to corral that many people to doing the same thing at the same time, Why which I don't do – I was the same just time. going to say that that's probably not going to happen. We're probably going to end up in like two or three groups um, just because wow. of the size. You, you already have way too much of this planned for okay. me. Okay, yeah. I, w I was just thinking that we I would be am going to because we're the sluts of the bunch. Hmm. So anyone who wants to join us. I only plan on being naked with you, so let's not throw that out there. <laughs> uh, anyone who um, wants. I was planning on being naked at the con. That was going to be my my cosplay. Um, you know, technically in Portland, Oregon, um, being naked in public is legal. Well, God so, bless Portland. There you go. Um, so um, I was thinking of putting together not like a package, but some ideas and of like <sighs> – Oh, um, no. places that have good happy hours and places that are really cool and, you know, things like that. And just making like a little list. So that way when we're like, Hey, what does everyone do that? And I'll, and I'll be able to like, Oh, just a second. I made some notes. There's this place, this place, and this place. What do you guys think? You know, things like that. Wow. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I will already be at some place. Mm -hmm. 
to get you have that to take me people, with you to get that many people to agree i say we just wing it all right well we'll just I'm go somewhere like, and say this is where we are yeah and <laughs> since we're the sluts of the bunch we'd be like screw you guys we're going they're all <laughs> okay. gonna follow us anyway because we're the sluts they yeah. all want a piece and there's a few things that we ha that uh, i'd like to do and we've discussed already where i want to um you know go to the comic book store and uh some other things yeah and you want to try to see your friend and, i'm hoping yeah um, i have not uh yes i'm hoping um i but my friends will be there. <laughs> there is <laughs> Who is that? Uh, um, a good girlfriend of mine I would like to try to see as well. I'm another, going to uh, message her and see if she'll meet us. Another to the basket. Absolutely. The slut basket. Bring her in. More the merrier. You've heard of a fruit basket, right? We need another girl. Slut. What? What? You girls. <laughs> Always slutting it up. Yeah, well. All right. I don't be the only girl, so. <laughs> uh, you will be. There's other girls. Going. And um, Juliet is coming. Is yeah. that correct? And possibly the Jens. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's going on so, with that. Right. I don't want to, you know, press Say. the issue. Right, for sure. Um, it might be weird if I keep asking everybody <laughs> if they're girlfriends. But I do have a couple of girlfriends there I would like to uh, make contact with and hopefully will come and see us. You can so. contact all the girlfriends you want. I, and I will. A little, you know, try <laughs> to light a fire, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Little SOS pad on SOS pad. Uh, what? Right. I don't even know, know what, what that saying? means. Little no. Brillo? I don't. No. No. A little mm -mm. carpet static. No. You know what I'm saying? Pop. Poof. Slutty but sluttiness. Mm -mm. All right. I don't know. I wanted to bring that up. Okay. Good. <laughs> there you go. Um. So how many people are staying in the same hotel? Twenty four. And... <sighs> I don't. To be honest, I really don't know who's all staying where. Okay. Cool. I know. We'll see each other eventually. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> we'll be there. Davis, you'll be there. We'll hook up. I believe. Whoa. <laughs> see? Sets of the bunch. This is why <laughs> Craig says it. I believe. Um, oh, I should also thank Craig and um, the Angry Ginger for having me on the last Better Call Saul podcast. Yes. That was fun. Yeah. So thanks, bitches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that for Nickel? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Nick. Nickel. I know. I do too. Which hurts um, my feelings that he thinks we're slutty, but that's no, right. I like that because he's absolutely right. Because I will rock his world. Mm. Uh, anyway, wow. so what we're I'm we talking still about? here, you know that, right? <laughs> you can take pictures, we've got GoPros. I can get in, get in on that. Action. <clears throat> it's not like something you haven't seen before. Shlong a ding dong. So, uh, anyway, Diamond Dave is at our hotel. I'm not sure who else it's is there not either. It's actually our hotel. What if we're at his hotel? Fair enough, yeah, it could be his hotel. We don't know. Um, and then. Yeah. It is called the Giraffe Inn. <laughs> it should be. Yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, everyone's going and everybody pretty much has their plans. So everyone's going. Well. Everybody's and going. And everyone's got plans. I believe so. Wow. I hope everybody has a place to stay and has their tickets. So, cool. <laughs> That's a good hope to have. I haven't talked to Michael. I'm not sure where he's staying. I don't know if he's staying with friends. I think I might be staying with friends. So. Uh, last he did I last heard, year. he might stay at a hotel because he thinks he may have too many drinks to drive back to his friends. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure. Well, um, you know, there's that hotel across the street. And, and... by Michael, you mean your brother. Yes. Who's the co-host of the Who the What Now podcast, yes. who's also a comic creator. Yes. An all-around good guy. Danger Entertainment. Or so I've heard. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm joking, um, of But, um, I, you know, a couple of the single guys could share a room with the two beds hey, or you whatever. you got to put a ring on it. Yeah, well, I would say just pay half the, the bill. Guys could sh share a bed. Is that what you just? No, said? No, I said share a room with two beds. Oh, is that what you said? Yes. Um, there's a rumor going around that Mr. Desmond Hassing. I have heard it. said rumor. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. He doesn't make it. He was saying something about trying to get a press pass, and I was looking at the press pass rules, which is um, the precipice press pass rules, which is why I didn't go for that because I thought they were kind of strict, and you had to like. Do all some stuff. And anyway, so it was just easier for us to pay for it, which is why we just bought tickets instead of doing the press pass. Thing. Well, hopefully your brother but, pulled it off because we had so. tickets and we got rid of our tickets and now it's all in your brother's hands. So, yeah. If not, <laughs> what you going to do? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Um, um, anyway, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. I did uh, have one quick thing to say just mm -hmm. because I said I would. Um, I oh, okay. So uh, we're animal lovers, mm -hmm. meaning we love animals. Of course. And we are big Doberman fans. Yes, we are. And there is this rescue in Las Vegas called the Las Vegas Rescue Doberman Rescue Site Place. Mm -hmm. Las Vegas R Doberman Site Love Rescue. Do you want me to look it up to get the right name? Place. Um, and anyway, so what uh, this came across. Now, look, there's a, a ton of animals that need help. There's a ton of 
rescues that need help and all that. But this one kind of struck a chord with me. So I was just going to throw it out there. There's a GoFundMe site. Uh, there's this little baby Doberman that's four months old that has a rear broken leg. Um, and the owners of said Doberman, from what I understand, took it to the vet. The vet said it's going to be very expensive to fix the leg. And the owner said, well, just put the dog to sleep then. The vet did not put the dog to sleep. Right. Called they contacted Las Vegas the rescue. and said, hey. It's the Las Vegas Doberman Pincher and Dachshund uh, res- Rescue. Place. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, so um, Las Vegas is, is trying to raise the money to get the surgery that this little puppy needs. Little puppy's name is Mia, M-I-A. Uh, there's a GoFundMe site. We donated, again, just throwing it out there if people want to or, or you know, Doberman fans or Somebody was feeling like, you know, I kind of like to help out a dog with a broken leg. Right. By we don't know the dog. We don't know. We have no affiliation with the rescue. We know nothing of anything. It just struck a chord with me because the puppy was so cute and melted my heart. So if you'd like to, that's awesome. Right. I can't imagine being a family that has a puppy and the puppy get hits by a car or something bad happens and then you don't have, I have enough a lot money of to questions save them. about this story that I don't want to right. bring exactly. up here. Right. Exactly. Of course, of course, but they took the puppy and are saving the puppy. But Yeah, and yeah. The puppy will lose his, her leg if she doesn't have surgery. Which is so. fine. And if some people are actually saying sometimes uh, a a, a break that bad dog is better than a dog with a, a badly a limp, yeah. um disfigured like either way, it uh, if you go to the GoFundMe, it's repair Mia's broken leg. And Mia is M I A S. That's a that's that's it. I okay. just well, it's it cool. struck a chord. And of course, I had to ask what would happen to Mia after, and mm-hmm. she after her rehab, she will be available for adoption. So right. she has to have a knows? medical foster after that. Or who whatever, knows? So, yeah. Who knows? Anyway, yes. I'm gonna you know if I adopted Mia or if we had, I'd, I'd probably change the name to Limpy. <laughs> Limpy <me>. McGee. Limpy, <laughs> Limpy, <laughs> Limpy McLeagless. Oh. <laughs> so good luck, Mia, and uh, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, good night. No, we're still here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Right. <laughs> we still got some stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, we were very much hoping to see Fast and the Furious 7 this weekend. We have uh, yet to see it. Um, and we can't probably see it tomorrow because your parents are coming over. But um, so maybe next weekend we can see it. Yeah, I was going to check. I mean, the only thing I can think of is if we went before, but then it might be cutting it too close. I think it might be cutting a little too close. Unless, and after... And, uh, might 10 just, o'clock in the morning is a little bit much for Fast and the Furious, probably. <laughs> and be, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a whole afternoon to clean up after I see that because it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> right. Yeah, because I'm gonna get too fast and too furious with myself. Right. Yeah, I speed bump, if you know what I'm saying. Huh? Gosh. You feel me? Um I don't know if I should tell the story about uh, the work testing the sound on that. Probably not, because you're questioning it. No, um, well, okay, I, I think I can. Um so <laughs> Okay. Um, we, uh, so, you It'll know, since we do, uh, ever. no, 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 it's fine. Um, we do, uh, you know, sound for movies at the place that I work at. I did not know that. I know, that. weird, right? So, um, one of the things we do on kind of a side note and just for our, uh, testing purposes and all of that, nice. Um, we test how loud something is. Um, not only how loud it is, but how loud and how long that goes on for. And like, we kind of give it an average percentile or I, whatever. You guys call it the sex test. No. <laughs> but um i was talking to one of the engineers who uh did the test uh just recently on a fast seven and uh, they said it's so uh, either the loudest or the second to loudest movie they've ever tested um and it's it's the loudness to the length of um how long the loudness goes on for right um and the other peak, one length of peak volume yes and um the other one was uh, to the layperson that he um compared it to was um, Terminator Salvation. And I was trying to think back and I'm trying to remember if I saw that. And I, I don't think I, I you know what, I don't think I saw it in the theater. So obviously since, you know, home is different than theater and you don't have it turned up all the way and all of that. And um, did you want me to test something? No. Are you good? Okay. Um, so it's kind of funny that I was, when he said that, I was like, really? Like, I don't remember that movie being really loud, but of course I don't because I don't think I saw that in a theater. So I can't right. compare it. The same thing, but I am looking really forward to seeing Fast 7, and maybe we should take some earplugs. Yeah, well, it also depends how <laughs> loud the theater plays it. Right, at. the theater usually has a cap. They yeah. will only turn it up so far. But um, so, Yeah, so hopefully um, we can go see it. Well, we will see it next weekend if yeah. we don't see it this weekend. I thought that was pretty fun. I was like, wow, just um, the consistency of loudness. It's, yeah. It has a high ranking. There you go. <laughs> 
I like it. It'll <laughs> um, be fun to see that. So, yeah. I don't know. I was going to say something. I totally spaced oh, it. Did, to did I ruin no, your No, it had to do with thought, Fast and Furious 7. Um, so was it, uh, have we been seeing the Fast movies together since 5? Uh, so you mean just 6? Well, we saw 5 and 6. Well, did, we didn't totally see 5 together. Well, we saw 5 later. We watched it later. Right. But yes, since, yeah, so we saw two Furious movies quickly <laughs> together. <laughs> Too Fast and Furious. Well, when 5 came out, um, yeah. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Go, um, no, you were going to say something about that. I was trying to remind you. Oh, no. I, 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 I drew a blank. I'm drawing a, a blank. <laughs> I'm, I've been drawn. And blanked? And quarter, I'm choking on myself over here. I need to talk for a second. Um, I want you to tell the stories of how many times in the last, like, two weeks you've saved dogs from running around the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, and like, I got home yesterday. I and saved the same dog The again. same dog again. And I just ran in the house, and I was like, Neil, the dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other day I was just out. across the street. <laughs> I was out walking zero, and there's this dog that lives in a house that's kitty corner behind us. Mm -hmm. Its name is Rocco, and it's a little. I think it might be the Mexican polka house, but I'm not positive. <laughs> right. <Shh. laughs> I'm, I'm assuming what you mean is you believe that the people that live in the house are in the mar mariachi band. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. Um, so the, it's a little white fluffy dog. I don't right. know what kind of dog it's, it is. It's either, it's not a mini poodle. It might no. be a Bichon. Frise. Frise of some sort, maybe. Yeah, it sounds like something, something you like would that. Eat. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's a cute little dog. It's Very white nice dog. and fluffy ish. Yeah. So I was out walking zero and this little white fluffy dog, and by little, I mean probably 10 pounds. I would say yeah, and a little about more than that, about inches, fifteen. Eight inches tall. He about, he's about the size of our Mr. Chubb's kitty. He's about fifteen pounds, I'd say. And so he was walking around um, with a little sweater on. All with his little himself. sweater. <laughs> so I had zero, do, 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 do. and obviously Rocco, dog's name is Rocco, wouldn't come near me. So I had to get zero home, drop him off with you, and take the leash and go back. And when I found him. He was about three blocks away trying to cross a very busy intersection and cars are honking at him. Right. And I was at that weird point where I'm like, I'm going to see this dog get killed and this is going to suck. Right. So I'm calling the dog and people are honking and rolling down their window yelling at me because they think I'm right. the you, owner you, of the dog. They think you're a jackass. Yeah. Which, which is <laughs> fine. You know, so I threw out a bunch of dog food because I had it, the the little dog treat, treat bag. bag. Yeah. And he started coming towards me, and he finally did. And I put him on leash. And as soon as I put him on, I put my leash on his collar. As soon as I did, he was like, well, all right, cool. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> and so um, I was able to read his tag, obviously, called the number on the tag. And this nice young lady answered, and I said, hey, do you have a dog? And she said, yes. And I said, oh, I said, I actually have your dog. And she's like, oh, my God, please, you know, bring him by. Where are you? We'll come get him. And I said, no, I'm right around the corner. I'll bring him to you. So I... Right. And we've house. seen this dog before in the neighborhood. So yeah. we sort of kind of knew where he lived. So took him over and uh, they were like, thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. So then the other day. Yesterday. Uh, and then as I'm walking <laughs> back home without a dog now, there was a little chihuahua running around on the loose without, but I couldn't capture him. Right. Um, so maybe he got turned into a hot water bottle. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> then uh, you got home from work last night mm -hmm. and you... Came in the house and you were like, Neil, Neil, Neil. And I was like, oh. I recognized that dog. I like, what happened? And, and like, so I knew it was the same dog. Like, that dog is loose again. Right. And as I was approaching our house, I saw her, him, I guess, him. him. Um, okay. Basically, he was at that point, he was right across the street from our house. And I saw him and he was like, do, 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 down the sidewalk, like basically walking himself. Yeah. And um, I was waiting. I hit the garage door button and I was waiting to go up. And I just happened to kind of see him out of the corner of my eye. And I was like, what? And I super had to go to the bathroom. Right. And I knew that um, since you had saved him before, that he probably would recognize you. So I just, I, I, I don't think I've ever parked my car in the garage so fast before. I, ran, you know, just jammed into the garage, hit the brake, turned the car off, ran inside. and was like, Neil. And I was worried because usually you don't run in yelling my name like Right. Wrong. And you're like, what, what? And I was like, that that dog's outside that, you know, and I couldn't even like get it out. And I'm like, go, go. So <laughs> you know? I, to, to paint the picture, I had uh, worked all day. <laughs> I had a, a tough, I wouldn't say tough, but I had a lot to do at work. Running yes, you had a very, very busy day. Yeah. 
and you're tired. <laughs> walked zero. Uh, well, went shopping, walked zero, was getting ready for dinner, did a little workout, and I was wearing my Batman Pajamas. lounge pants. <laughs> um, an outside Does lens, lounge pants sound outside, better than? <laughs> no, no, that's what I think of them as. Uh, but they were pajamas, yeah. Um, my uh, An outside lands teal colored t shirt that's all nasty because it's older than dirt. Right. My hair was everywhere because I was, you know, whatever. Um, and my slippers. Mm -hmm. And so you come and you're like, that, that dog is loose again. So I got worried. So I right. grabbed. I was just afraid he wouldn't come to me. Otherwise, I would have just right. gone over there already by myself without even coming inside. So I grabbed Zero's leash. And then, of course, Zero got excited because he thought we were going out. And right. I went outside and I, he was not a, it was, he was not pleased with you. <laughs> it was funny because I, I walk outside the door and I'm looking and you're like, to the right, to the right. So I went and there was Rocco and I called him. And now, of course, he comes to me because he's like, oh, it's the dude who takes me for walks every now right. and then. Right. And he gives me treats. <laughs> yeah. So I put him on the leash and we walked over. So as I'm walking over to the house, everybody in the neighborhood is out. Right. So, so everybody sees in your pajama everybody's pants. Everybody's kids are out. This kid stops me and he's like, oh, hey, cool dog. And I'm like, oh, no, it's actually not my dog. It's a, a dog that got away. And he's like, oh, so now his friends are out looking at me with my hair everywhere and my pajama pants. And I'm like, <laughs> eh, with my slippers. And I go around the corner and there's a, uh, at the, 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 the Rocco lives at the street behind us. There's a, a gentleman who has um, a couple trucks that are actually set up to drag race they have the big slicks and they have rails in the back oh i'm not sure i've noticed that and he has this huge pit bull and he's like a tough looking hispanic dude um is that smoky no that's a, a different house uh oh. no this is a big pit bull oh. big 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 uh and the dog's old and totally mellow but the dude's got like that uh and this is going to sound totally a little racist and stereotypical but kind of like that ex gangbanger like he's older he's probably in his mid 40s but just the dress and and everything and only because i have friends like that that's why i say that not because i've you know watched too many tv shows but he <laughs> um he actually builds pretty much rates he, that's that engine that you hear all the time that sounds super loud every now and that's it's, it's not this guy down here on our street. It's a no, different no, guy? No, no, no. It's him. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll tell you, when you see, you we'll by, have to show by me. looking yeah. at the trucks, you can't tell. Okay. But then if you know what you're looking All right, for. All right, you have like to I, point him out next time we're on a walk. So yeah. a couple people were parked in his parking lot because they were working on, on their vehicles. Trucks and stuff, yeah. yeah. And, um, and he's got a, a really nice house and everything. I mean, it's done really well. It's not like he's out there wrenching on a piece of crap. I mean, they're, they're yeah. nice vehicles. But they're like tough looking dudes and, and here i come in your holding <laughs> a freaking little white fluffy dog in my pajamas and i'm like hey you know and they didn't acknowledge my existence i waved twice and i did that uncomfortable thing like where i waved at first and i thought oh i, I guess they weren't looking at me but now i'm waving so i i kind of hope someone eventually will acknowledge me and then they looked over and <laughs> didn't wave back and i'm like oh yeah so then i went and and dropped um Rocco. so i had knocked on the door and this very nice lady answered who didn't uh, speak English very well. But uh, she was like, oh, I'm like, oh, I found him running over there, which was really funny because I can say that in Spanish, but I didn't for some reason, probably because I was still scared of the dudes that wanted to probably kill me. Ignore you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so. Uh, of, of the dudes so who I, were just ignoring you. <laughs> right. And so I handed her the dog and she's like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then she started yell not yelling loud but she started yelling at Rocco like chastising yeah. Rocco yeah she's like you know Rocco da, 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 da. and it was funny and I was laughing as I was walking away and she was laughing oh, okay good and then I had to do the walk of shame so now I'm dressed like that without a dog and just holding a dog leash mm -hmm. so now I just look crazy walking home <laughs> <home. laughs> and then I got back and then Zero was mad at me because I didn't take it for a walk well crazy is tougher than tough every day then I had another Jimmy McGill in my book right <laughs> Of which that's I your new say, favorite thing, right? Jimmy McGill. Um, for those who watch Better Call Saul, mm -hmm. Jimmy McGill is the character. character. Um, and he there's cucumber water, it's this whole thing, but anyway, uh, Craig Nickel, um, from the Graphic Novice podcast and from uh, the past time of putting down me and calling our podcast Nickel Back and Slutty and all that stuff, he created this beverage which he believed was on the show which is it's vodka and cucumber water and a little bit of lime and it is freaking amazing it's yeah so not only is mr nickel an awesome podcaster and a great guy that seems to like to uh call me a slut 
Uh, <laughs> he makes a wicked beverage, and it's my new favorite. It's his beverage. new favorite. Uh, so yeah. I feel like I'm getting water, and I'm getting vegetable. Right. So it's super healthy. It's, I'm sure it's good for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, came home, did that, and uh, things were good. That's too funny. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like I'm totally lost right now. <laughs> I, I do actually have a work story, but I've been talking. So you tell a story or something. Um, I don't really have that much. I've Is been. That, uh, are those your notes? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there. I don't really take notes. You know that. I but usually you have something. I have some thanks on there, and then I was going to uh, what I was talking to you about in the car day, where I was listening to um, Tiny Odd Conversations that podcast, and it's uh, with Travis and Brandy, and they're a couple, and it's one of the couples podcasts that I listen to and that I enjoy. But I was uh, joking with you earlier today about how uh, Brandy does this thing where she kind of gives background stories to people and to oh, scenarios. Right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I was just going to bring that up. That I totally do that and you totally call me out for it all the time. And he called her out for it like well, on explain, this last explain podcast. Explain a little more. Um, so I, I don't know how or why, but whenever there is a funny situation or a, a person or something, I always kind of come up with this like background story well, it, for them. It can be any, like even with Rocco, like right. the first time I saved Rocco, you were like, Oh, the, were there a bunch of people over there and they were having a party and left the door open. And I'm like, how did, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm like, that's obviously what happened. Right. <laughs> because that's the mariachi band and they have parties over there all the time. So obviously Rocco got, out accidentally. And so, so Brandy does. Brandy does something However, similar. However, there is a big difference between. She always and says probably or right. it seems like or something like that. Anyway, I just thought it was really funny and I was talking to you about it today and I thought maybe I should mention it on the podcast because it's something really funny that I do and right. I don't totally notice that I'm doing it. I think I've always done it and you pointed out that I do it. And um, so I've been trying to not do it as much and then. Um, I totally started doing that today <laughs> at well, some point. Well, and no, then I, here's and the funny thing. So we were talking about it. Well, I don't know if this is the funny thing, but a funny <laughs> thing. so we were talking about it. And I said, well, the difference between you and Brandy is that you don't say probably. And you got a little pissy. You were like, oh, all right, whatever. <laughs> so then later we went out. We had we ran a bunch of, of errands today, as we normally do. Didn't right. go to Target. Did Costco and Target. Did not get my free Starbucks coffees. That's another anyway, story altogether. So we, we were... Uh, we went and picked up our pizza for the evening. We were driving back, and there's this house. We were at a stoplight, and there was this house at that corner. And you said, oh, this house is interesting. Um, and you said there's an old person who lives there. I said, I, and I they, think there's pro hmm. No, you didn't. You said there's an old person who lives there, and they're, collect they're a collector mm -hmm. because there's a lot of oil lamps. And I said, see, you don't use probably. And you started laughing at that point. Right. You realized. Well, because I was like, well, it's just for me, it just seems so obvious because like who else would have 20 oil lamps on the table in the front window as like they're obviously right. an older collector of some sort. But but you're right. I don't actually know that. I'm just like telling stories like I know that. But yeah, <laughs> but well, anyways. It's, it's it's funny, too, because you um, you expound a little bit on your stories. You 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 will add flair to them, as most people do. But but it took me a while when we met to realize because when you tell a story about somebody who told you something, they all have the exact same voice and use the exact same words. So you'll be like, yeah, the person, they were like, I totally do that. And then next time it was like, I was talking to your mom and she was like, oh my God, I totally know what you're talking about. And I'm like, my mom doesn't say totally. <laughs> and then it took me a while to realize that it's your, you're taking their words, but putting your em emphasis on Well, it's on just it. my interpretation of yeah. their story. Yeah. So, it's, so for a while, I'm like, wow, everybody you know talks exactly like you. the same. Right. Anyways. Which is funny because you don't talk like that. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just thought it was funny because um, it's just one of those funny things I thought of today because I caught myself doing it. And then I was like, you know, what's funny is I was listening to this other podcast right. that has a couple and she does something very similar. And it makes me wonder if we're like around the same age or if it's just something I don't I mean, I don't know. Girls from California. No, no, I, I mean, I don't know. Because <laughs> my parents do the same thing. They look out the window and they make up stories of what they think right. everybody's doing. I, I think. No, I think, like I totally have a backstory for the old lady that lives across the street. I think everybody because I, I have the, no idea what her life is really like, but I have made up a backstory in my head for her. I think that, like I do it, too. <laughs> but I think the difference is you are very matter of fact. Of that's, <laughs> like this is what's that's going on. What's happening. There yeah. are some times where I think it's super obvious like the oil lamp collector but 
I have no idea really what the woman across the street is yeah, really like. Be, it could be the the lady who lives there. She could there be a horrible the... person, but I totally want wow. to know her. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I don't know. You know, right. I don't know. So oh, there you go. I, I want to kind of go over there and hang out with her though. She seems kind of cool. Like you did the the guy who used to sit in his garage and that I ended up meeting with Zero. The, the yeah, yeah, the guy sits oh. on the corner. Yeah, he sits in his garage. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, well, all right. <laughs> What's your work story? Uh, oh, so, uh, okay, this, this story is going to be a little tough to tell Mm-mm. without sounding totally racist. Wow, okay. <laughs> Only because the person in the story that I'm going to tell the story about is accidentally racist. Okay. And I had nothing to, it's this person. You're after, just retelling a story. So. No, no, it's not even that bad. I just don't know. I, I may stumble on my words in describing what he was saying, uh, well, I'll try and okay. we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I work in Golden Gate Park mm-hmm. in San Francisco and we had a lot of different people who come through the park. Very eclectic. Very cool people. Uh, and some crazies, you know, I mean, happens. I'm, I'm there. Um, would you got to go? No, no. Oh, do you want, is nope. there something you want to say? Okay. So, um, so this this gentleman, probably in his late 50s or 60s, uh, comes up to me and he goes, oh, you have a really great job. And uh, he's a very well-dressed um, athletic wear, but like really expensive. He's on a bike, um, very well-groomed, nice guy, very soft-spoken. And and I told him, I said, yeah, I said, it, it is. It, it's a wonderful job. That's why... I, I've done it for so long. I wasn't planning to do this job for that long. I, it, I took a pay cut to take the job, but no stress. I work for a nonprofit organization. I'm not making widgets that somebody has to go buy to make someone else rich. And you get to work said, outside out. Yeah, I said it's, yeah. I'm, I feel very fortunate. And yeah, I like a lot. So he's, we start talking. Um, I'm going to, I don't want to go through the whole conversation. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut to some of the, the highlights of the conversation. Okay. So one of the things that, that that he is he's he feels that all other ethnicities is he white? I uh, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter to the story. Okay. All other ethnicities are out to get him because of his ethnicity, and his response to this, um, like he he'll be walking down the, he says he's walking down the street. People will be walking towards him, and they'll feel that he in his head. They they feel that he should move because he's blank, and they won't move. So what he does is when they get closer, he goes, "Fuck you." <laughs> a very well spoken, well educated uh, Stanford graduate architect, I believe. As he kept talking, I mean, we talked for it. He would not stop. I was talking just to about me. to say, "How long did you talk to this guy?" And for? I was like, oh, "Oh, that's interesting." And so everything was. He worked as a as a. Um, I think he used the term bellhop for a very uh, prestige, or he says, I don't know, I didn't fact check, prestigious um, hotel in New York. Mm-hmm. And he was saying that certain people would treat him a certain way and he'd get say, fuck you. <laughs> Again, a, a very pleasant looking gentleman, nice guy. So everything was fuck you. And it was freaking hilarious. And I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm like, there's got to be a camera around here. <laughs> right? This is insane. <laughs> And so, uh, so I'm sitting there and, uh, so he's got all these different stories and he goes, and all of a sudden he stops and he goes, um, I've been trying to figure out your ethnicity, where you're from. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. And he's like, hmm, he's looking at me and he's like, I I don't, I don't know. That happens to me all the time. I said, (laughs) I said, I'm, um, I'm Argentinian with an Italian background. He goes, Argentina. All those people think that they're the best people in South America. And I was like, oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess if you've known a few Argentines, yeah. And he goes, uh, he goes, and I said, yeah, my, my, I think my great or great grandparents immigrated from Italy. And he goes, you know, that's the other thing too. Argentinians, all, they all think they're European. It's like, if you want to be European, go back to Europe. You know what I say? You know what I say? Fuck you. And I'm like, <laughs> now at this point, I'm like, is he saying it to me? <laughs> I'm totally confused. I'm like, oh. Oh, all right. All right. And to he's the, like, to your ancestors, he's or? like, uh, Argentina. They they house a lot of Nazis. They a lot of war criminals in Argentina. They go there because the Argentinians won't do anything to get rid of them. You know what I say to Nazis? 
you know what I say to Nazis? Fuck you. And I'm like, who doesn't say that to Nazis? <laughs> right? <laughs> So, so is he sort of maybe crazy a little bit? I don't, or? I don't know. He was actually, <laughs> he was, he was so nice about everything he was saying. He's His like niceness new, distracts from the crazy. He's like my new favorite person at work. <laughs> I, I now look for him. And Roger, my my boss and, mm-hmm. and friend, has had a run in with him too. And so we kind of talk about. It. But but a nice guy. I mean, he's my new favorite person at work. But here, here is the. So we're talking. Blah blah blah. We're talking about kids and society and this and that. And I'm just kind of like, you know, I mean, part of my job is that I have to be nice to the public, you know. Right. So, so he after says, three hours of conversation, he says, do, <laughs> do you have kids? And I said, no. And his response, thank you. It was almost as good as the, well, you have oranges. <laughs> I was, and, oh, and I should explain that. So we, we were doing, uh, we were refinancing the house. We had a house inspection uh, inspector come and he saw our appraiser br- appraiser. Yeah. Sorry. So our Doberman signs and he had asked, Oh, you have a Doberman. And I said, it was just right after seven died. And I'm like, no, we, we lost them. We were outside. We have an orange tree in the front right. yard. And he said, well, at least you have oranges. So this guy, I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's the best answer I've ever heard. So this guy was like, hey, so do you have kids? I'm like, no. And he's like, well, thank you. I'm like, that is almost as good as well. You have oranges. So I was thanked for not having children Mm. for being a uh, a pompous Argentinian, apparently. Wow. Yeah. So that was my work story. (laughs) You're pompous, you're Argentinian, and you don't have kids. Uh, You're welcome. None of which, he didn't say anything that wasn't true. That was the thing that was killing me. He, like he you can't never... be offended because nothing was really not true or inaccurate. Oh, it was. I mean, and, and there was so much said, but he was. Uh, um, and then and then when he said, oh, "I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much." You know, I, I got to go, and I'm like, okay. And it was as I was talking, I guess I started looking a little uncomfortable, maybe because people that I know that because they walk their dogs around there would start coming up and ask me questions like, "Oh, hey, can you show me this thing over here?" Like trying like, to help you. Yeah, and I'm like, and he's like, "Oh, I, you got to get back. You know, it was really nice talking to you. Thank you very much." And I'm like, "Yeah." So your stance got a little uncomfortable. Apparently, I, I don't know, but it was funny. Fuck you. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. So if if I n- said anything racist, I didn't mean to. I I don't know how else to explain the story. Right. So I do have a question though. Yeah. Um. So when he says that mm-hmm. no one ever does anything about that nobody ever calls him ask. out i didn't I, I don't think i wouldn't have i didn't i was like you're awesome <laughs> yeah, and well, what's i just funny think if somebody walked was, by me and said that i'd be like what the fuck I, look i don't know how much of the story <laughs> right. was true. what's funny is as he would because so he's standing over his bike right mm-hmm. you know the he's bike. just standing there yeah and at, every time he would say it he'd roll closer to me and like stick his neck out over the handlebars and be like <laughs> and just kept getting closer and closer. And I'm like, I feel like I there's a God, Saturday Night Live skit going on. <laughs> I was so hoping because I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to be on TV right now. And it, well, like when he said the stuff about the, the Argentina, I said, well, I, I said, I can't, I can't fall. Yeah, you're, you're kind of. Technically, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're good. You're good on that. <laughs> you know what I say to Nazis? And I'm, I was thinking, God, I, I hope it's not like. High five, brother! You know, yeah. Like, I don't know what you're what you're going for right now. <laughs> it, was, it was good. Oh, so anyway, that's a silly work story. It probably sounded stupid, but no, <laughs> that's funny. Was, that's weird off. and yeah. funny. That was. How yeah. long did this conversation go on for? Because in my head, it went on for like three hour. hours. Over an wow. hour, which is a long time when you're working. Right. I'm like, okay, well, I, I, okay. And that's I think why everybody was like, uh, he's <laughs> probably got to do something else. Um. What time are we at? Because I have a funny question for you. I don't know if you're allowed to tell this story or not. Mm, I can try. I really need to pee. Can you talk for a minute? Mm, no, because my conversation is for you. Well, can you talk about something else so we can have that conversation when we get back? I don't want to stop it. Um. We either have to stop or you have to just talk for 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. They talk about tiny on conversations. Talk about Mike. Talk about PBR. <laughs> okay. Talk about Ryan. We love Ryan. <laughs> Hi, Ryan from Green Up. <laughs> Um, I don't, uh, you're a slut, but (laughs) apparently, (laughs) um, and Neil also wants to be on every one else's podcast, the zero episode, apparently. So I've heard on other podcasts. Um, I don't know. Um, we were talking about today that, um, we're not sure, um, if we're going to 
end up naming our little uh, mascot or not. Our little, uh, we call the little angel freak uh, mascot. We just call it the freak. And uh, we were going to name it and we we're going to um, take submissions for that. But um, I don't know how many submissions we got. And then we, to be honest, we kind of forgot about it because we saw, you know, something shiny and got distracted. So we may or may not come back to that. Um, I guess maybe let us know if you, we Sorry should. Sorry about my nap bladder. Yeah, you do have a baby bladder. So, in all fairness, we did a podcast for quite a while earlier. Yeah, we did. <laughs> all right. Um, I was just mentioning that we may or may not um, try to name the freak. But, uh, name the freak. Woo-hoo. All right, what's your question? Um, So I was listening to um, Podcast Without Borders with guest stereotype podcast. Wob. Wob. Um, Wob, what's up? Okay, so. Hey, um, Rod. Double D. Um, Podcast so, without. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I can't remember at what point, but they were talking about like worst dates and worst breakups and things like that. And I can't remember um, what the exact question was, but um, one of the guys from uh, Stereotype Podcast, and I want to say it was Joe, but it may have not been. So I apologize if it wasn't Joe. Um, but one of them Mr. said, Keating, as it <laughs> um, said that um, they we're just be in the car with this date and um, say something like, it's not going to suck itself. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's funny. That was spray painted over. That's the story I wanted you to oh, tell. Oh, yes. I can so, tell that story. So, therefore, I thought about that. Um, I was listening to that on the way home in the car a couple days ago, and I just started cracking up. And obviously, I can't text you about that because I'm driving or whatever, right. but I totally just cracked up and I meant to bring it up with you and tell you about that and then say, Can you tell that story? Yeah. O- over uh, one of the bath, the men's bathrooms at a soccer facility. Uh, that we no longer have because they're they're making it art of, uh, synthetic turf. But when, when I did have it, um, <laughs> Roger and I were checking out. You know, we have to check for graffiti and limbs and make sure everything's all right. And there was spray paint over the men's bathroom, and we saw it. We're like, ah, oh, damn it! You know, we're gonna have to have Clean someone that up, out, yeah. uh, someone come out and paint that. And we looked and we started cracking up because it said it ain't going to suck itself. <laughs> we were like, oh my God. So now for years, Roger and I have used that for everything. Right. We're like, you know, it ain't going to dig itself. It ain't going to, this is, and yeah, no, it was, it was. Right. We, and since you've told me that story, I actually use that at work sometimes. And, and I was like, um, just recently standing in this, uh, room that has to be completely redone. And, um, and I was standing there and I, and uh, my coworker comes up because what are you doing? I'm just like, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to wait for it to wire itself. Nice. <laughs> and he's nice. like, Well, I don't think it's gonna. I'm like, I know, right? You're like, and this ain't gonna. <laughs> I didn't say that. Click, click itself. <laughs> the mouse don't click itself. True enough. <laughs> um. Anyway, so should we do our favorite five? Yes, we should. Uh, I keep thinking there was something I was gonna say. Oh, I don't know. But What's on your list? I don't. No, I don't have a list. Oh, I did have a list. My list is over. <laughs> okay. Vacation, vacation countdown, 89 Woo-hoo, days. We're past, to uh, we're under three months. Double digit dance. Mm-hmm. Anyway, our favorite five. What do you want to call this one? I, favorite five reasons to go to Costco. Okay. Is that not what it no, is? No, that's, that's appropriate. Yeah. We actually went to Costco today. We did. That's why. Because mm-hmm. we know we put a lot of thought into these favorite <laughs> fives. Though. Sometimes we do. And um, we actually have a list of favorite fives. But some, so sometimes there's a lot of thought and sometimes it's spur of the moment, kind of like our uh, Keanu Reeves one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was spur of the moment. Um, Do you want to go first? Would you like me to go first? I would. All right. My fifth favorite reason to go to Costco is the beer and the wine. Nice. The, the, they, well, now that they have, well, the Costco that we go to mm-hmm. has uh, craft brews. Right. And we also live in California, so it's legal for them to sell hard liquor and beer and wine. So Is that not legal? It's not legal in some other states. Wow. Like um, in um, Oregon, you can't buy liquor at the Costco. Wow. So the Costco sucks that you can't liquor at Costco. So you have to, um, what? I think you'd probably do that at Costco, which is funny, but, um, like Utah, it's a state run liquor store. So you have to go to the liquor store to buy liquor, right? You can only buy beer and wine. Other places, um, so. Well, that kind of took the wind out of my sight. I'm sorry. So beer no, and I'm wine. No, uh, so they have a no, huge beer and that's wine awesome. section. And now that they carry craft brews because, uh, Craft brews are fun. Although I am still actually a fan of major manufactured brews too. That's fine too. I know that everyone's like, oh, no, craft <laughs> brews, you know, and I'm like, oh, whatever, man, it's beer. Come what um, what did cute. you get today? What was the one you got today? I can't remember what it's called. Blue Frog. 
It's a, I, think I don't it's a think I've heard of that. IPA. I've never have, mm. but it, it would give it a tasty. go. Yeah. yeah. And their wine section is tremendous. It is. It's, it's large. And the prices are inevitable. Inevitable? Well, yeah, I used that word wrong. Yeah. They're, they're, okay. <laughs> their prices are cylindrical. Nope. No. Their prices are trapezius. Nope. They're really good. There you go. Nice. <laughs> so in my uh, cylindrical trapezius drinking. Hmm. So that's my fifth. Uh, d- d- what's yours? Um, Gas. Our Costco oh, doesn't sell gas. Right. No, don't think. start. That one does. There's a gas station. Oh, the is corner. there? Yeah. Um, so but the other like the one that I used to go to when I lived in Portland and um, the one that's uh, in my hometown, like when I go visit my family and stuff, there's a gas station and they always make sure to get gas while I'm there. Um, because it's super cheap. Like it's typically 30 cents a gallon cheaper or more. Uh huh. And if you get like, you know, 20 it's gallons of gas, 30 cents a gallon, 30 cheaper. cents, sometimes even more. Wow. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. Why is that interesting? I just think that's interesting. Hmm. Am I not allowed to think interesting? I didn't here? realize that our Costco had a guest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> right. Well, I know some right. do and some don't. So, right. No, the one in Nevada does not. Right. Anyway, so um, gas. <laughs> my number four. Can I go to my number mm-hmm. four? My number four is because it's kind of like Christmas every time you go. There's like all these new things and whatever. And if it's Christmas when you go, then there's like Christmas stuff. But otherwise, <laughs> there's always new like, oh, my God, that's that new 4K TV. Right. Oh, oh, my God, that's that new airtight Tupperware bowl. They always have the latest and greatest. Like those little <laughs> those little lights I saw today. Right. Of which I didn't even totally understand. I had to like totally look at the pictures and the diagrams to understand what that light was for. Yes. <laughs> awesome. All right. So that's my four. That's because funny. it's like, uh, yeah. Like today, you know, today we saw like the shed that I want to get mm-hmm. right next to the engagement rings. If you wanted another one, <laughs> right across the walkway there, just yeah. in case it's a and they're having a special on Direct TV. So one stop shopping. Actually, if you want Direct TV, talk to us. Wow, wow, <laughs> I don't know what I just did. <laughs> talk to us first because if uh, if you sign up with us, we'll get ten dollars off our bill. <laughs> God. Do you need to borrow my pen? Uh, no, okay. Um, my number four, uh. <laughs> Wow, did you just hit your head? Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to be okay over here. Oh. Neil's all right. Don't worry about all that. Right. Sorry about that. Did, concussion um, Concussion 12. guy just hit his head. So do is the light bright? All right. Do we need to, like, restart the light bright? Light bright, bright burnt out. Anyway, what's your okay. number four? Um, the selection at Costco is vast. Of? Anything. Oh. Everything. They have everything, which I think is awesome. And so, like, I. They don't sell sex toys. They should. Um, Wouldn't that be awesome if they did? Though? Do they not? No, they don't. I thought that. Hmm. They, they did sell, once have a personal massager. They do sell personal hygiene products, and That's, they also. I don't know no, what you think sex toys are. Tell, I, can I get finish my story? You must really like. Stop. <laughs> don't. Yeah. Um, and I have seen like the massage chairs and the little um things that lay in the chairs for massagers. So they come really close. So I uh, maybe we're just not what? looking around enough. Wait. <laughs> what? A massage chair is like a sex toy? No, but I'm just saying that they're right on the edge. They I could, could. Never fit a massage chair in me. In you. Yeah. Okay. What else do you do with sex toys? Okay. <laughs> um, so your number four is, is sex the, toys. No, with the wide wide yeah, go selection <laughs> of items at said Costco. Um, I just kind of go in there. It's like a wonderland. I'm like, oh, walking around. What is that? That's cool. I don't even know what that is. Like Like, Christmas. It is. like It's very similar to yours. Like you go in there and then there's like this whole six foot tall like fake palm tree that has lights on it. And And I'm like. don't you want it? I do. I want that. I don't need it. And I don't know where I'd put it, but I want it. Uh, Yes. My my number three, people watching. (laughs) Because damn. Damn. Yeah. You have everything from. Everybody that's been everywhere to nobodies that have been nowhere. Right. You see people super dressed up, and then you'll see people in their pajamas. It's, it's kind of funny. Oh, it's yeah. great. You'll see like the college kids that are mm-hmm. like, we're just here for beer, mm-hmm. pizza, and condoms. Right. And then you'll see their parents that are here, we're just here for beer, pizza, and depends. It's <laughs> awesome. That's too funny. Yeah. So what's your three? Um, buying in bulk. 
Like, even though... Don't get me started. <laughs> I always like... I don't want to run out of anything. Like, I don't want to <laughs> run out of paper towels. I don't want to run out of toilet paper. Like, we need, like, a half pallet of that stuff. When, when we met and then we moved in together, you had had three homes that you were kind of living... You had been traveling a lot for work and you, you lived in Portland. You had your own place and you were also... You have your stuff in Woodland. So you had all this stuff... And so when we moved in here, three of everything, right? you brought everything together. And I was amazed. I was like, you have 75 bottles of shampoo. <laughs> what is going on? Like, so that's only 30 per household, right? It, it was hilarious. I was like, oh my God, I've never seen. My parents, right. they even, when my dad came in the garage, he was like, what is all this? And I'm like, oh, that's just fingernail polish. <laughs> you don't know. Well, that's a little fun. exaggeration, but I no, do no, like to have backup. Mm. We'll record it. Yeah. What's that look for? Check out the YouTube video. Um. So, yeah, I just like to uh, have backup. I like to have backup you and in bulk. You do. Yeah, I do. Uh, what are we on? Number two? Um, you're on number two. Flashlights. I have a really weird love affair and obsession with flashlights. <laughs> I like anything that lights up. Uh, we have headlamps. We have multiple flashlights, large and small, in different rooms. Every room. Every room has a flashlight. And I have, I have what are they, more mag lights. There's mag lights everywhere. Yes. Um, I have a couple that aren't mag lights, just as like backups, like in the nightstand or whatever, like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, we have I a love, lot of flashlights. And, and every time you go, there's a new flashlight. There's <laughs> LED flashlights. There's, You're like, look at this flashlight oh. pack. I'm like, we don't need that. <laughs> I broke my pen. Stop messing around with your pen. Sorry. Uh, flashlights. Costco has awesome flashlights. Um, okay. That's a weird box. I know. I'm like, like uh, okay. Right. I wasn't sure if you were done. Yeah. Okay. So my number two is um, the food, <laughs> spe- the little cafe there, specifically the hot dogs. I had never had a Costco hot dog till we met. I love them. And I would go there for just that. It's $1.50 that comes with a hot dog and a soda. It's awesome. Although I start feeling sick before I even finish the hot dog. I was about to say the first time. But we, it's kind of worth it. <laughs> the first time I had a Costco hot dog, obviously, was with you. And we got it when we came into Costco. Mm-hmm. And I was in the bathroom <laughs> about 15 minutes later. We didn't even make it shopping and out of Costco. But it was very tasty. Yes. I do like myself a hot wiener. Yes, I know you do. I am a fan. But um, yeah, I would just go there for lunch, honestly. Yeah. But, uh, I actually thought their pizza was pretty good. Too. The pizza's good. Pepperoni. The hot dogs are I good. Mean, yeah. yeah. Um, I would just go there for lunch, honestly. I know it's cheap. A buck fifty for a hot dog and a drink. Yep. Order me two. I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be speaking Woo. of gas. No, <laughs> uh, so my number one. Ready? Yeah. Yep. The electronic section. I mean, I can get a TV, a computer, a 16 terabyte external hard drive. And it's all about $150. <laughs> There's nothing more than yeah. $150. No, the electronics, is, I'm just like, what? what? <laughs> you just kind of, you do beautiful. kind of walk around. We serpentine those aisles and your get, eyes get all glossy. Oh, I think it's, a, <laughs> it's the best thing ever. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And uh, today we noticed they had the new like Fitbits and they have the new Apple iPod and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah, everybody needs a bit to be fit. Yep. It's true. Um, okay. So my number one. Mm-hmm. Um, is I like to go there to just kind of check out the new stuff because they do have kind of like the latest and the greatest of whatever. And um, I w- would imagine we don't have anybody who listens from Beverly Hills because I'm sure they're like, you know, when I need the latest and the greatest of fashion, I'm at Costco. Yeah, I don't think they, yeah. Those Kirkland jeans rock it. <laughs> I was speaking more about like items and food specifically. Like I walk through those sections and I'm like, look at that. Oh, we should try that. Oh, that beer or that whatever and um for example um my new favorite thing from costco is their um sea salt brown rice chips that we got today and sesame brown rice chips and they're so yummy i could probably eat that one pound bag of sesame chips like in one sitting like you might have to take them away from me but i I just like uh (laughs) no you wouldn't but i like uh, trying new things i just like kind of like going through the aisles like oh look at that that's cool oh look at that that's cool oh look at that i'm gonna try that one time you're gonna be eating i'm gonna be like i think you've had enough of that that." would not go well (laughs) which is funny because you do that to other people only your dad well he's typically had enough of everything 
And it's not that I think he's had enough food. It's just that after oh, like no, two hours, I'm tired of sitting there. <laughs> right. But um, I just like to, yeah, I like to look at all the new things and try the new things. And I think it's really cool. The sea salt sesame brown rice <laughs> chips. I tell you what. That's oh. right. Oh. They had those uh, those cool, we didn't get them, but the, what were they? They were like the the crackers that I like that have like nuts. They and were like nut, it. fruit and nut <laughs> crackers. So they were like little um Toastettes on, yeah. with nuts thought, like, and cranberries. I a little caramel- and... caramelized onion and mm-hmm. brie on those. That would be lovely. Mm. Mm. We didn't get those because we would have already eaten, eaten them. The yeah. <laughs> Maybe next time. So there we go. So if you'd like to play along. Yeah. Let us know your, what your favorite five is. To go to Costco or your favorite five uh, reasons to go sex toy shopping. <laughs> or your favorite five sex toys. Oh, we should do that next week. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, I need to have my mom on the podcast. Wow. Uh, anyway, way to way to do that. <laughs> I, um, do you have your list of what we're supposed to say? Um, no, you're supposed to give me the list. Where's our list of know, like I'm thank all... yous? And did you add a danger entertainment to that? Who's, what? Danger what? what? Do you need to borrow my pen? No. Okay, go ahead then. No, you do it. I think I did. Is that danger dot net down there? Yes. Danger entertainment dot net. <laughs> All right, so we have our little thank yous right now. And so, um, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks.com. You can check us out there and find everything from that point. But also, you know what's really cool? The Dark Angels Pretty Freaks free app. And we have some like little bonus songs on there and stuff. So that's pretty cool. We're going to be releasing Hanno's song as a bonus this month. Nice one. Booyah. I, that's a really cool song. And um, he's been doing little jingles for other people too. So that's pretty cool. He jingles all he over the place. He does jingle. He'll be at Rose City Comic Con. He will be at Rose City as well. So if you want to see him, that's true. Okay. Go to Rose so. City. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest at DAPF Pod. Uh, my Twitter handle is Wiretech Girl. My Twitter handle is not at Angels Freak 7. No, it is. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is. Never mind. You can give us a call and so leave a voicemail for us at 774 DAPF 713 or 774 327 um, we, um, please check out the networks that we're on. They're all super awesome and super supportive and, um, they have really great shows on there. Super duper. Super duper. Um, musings of a geek.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, dot com. Wow. Yeah. And, um, Comedies. tangentboundnetwork.com and of course, dangerentertainment.com. And we are also on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spark Radio. I still don't know why we say that. Radio Fubar, Geek Life Radio, and... Wait, Jesus Christ, you're listening to us. You found us. I know, but that's nice to say. I'm just giving a shout out. Fubar. Fubar. Um, so thanks for listening. SparkRadio.us. Is that what it is? Spark Ra- yes, SparkRadio.us. That's yep. right. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks 56. Boom. Boom. <laughs>